Hello guys, Speaker Fanatic is here and today I decided to do a video for you about all of my Bluetooth speakers what I currently have. I thought that it would be interesting for you to see these models side by side and that's it. As you can see there are a lot I just counted them, I guess it's around 55 pieces of goodies and uh, yeah it's also nice to nice for me to see them side by side I guess I already forgotten <laughs> many of them that I have actually it's not all of the speakers I have these are what I quickly found but these are the majority of them and as you can see I ordered them actually I tried according to size so I started from the smaller one and to the larger one and uh, I just quickly show you them as a whole and after that I will uh, tell some words just very quickly about each of them to be honest I used the majority of them long ago so even if I wanted probably I couldn't give you too detailed information about each model but yeah just quickly show them to you so yes these are the ones I collected in the past years probably I won't play music on them because it would make this video super super long but of course all of them present on my channel and uh, all of them compared to other speakers so you can get a quite a good understanding about their sound so yeah i hope you will like this video i wanted to do this for a long ago and finally i decided to to actually do it so yeah let's take a look at all of them I don't know how long will be this video maybe it will be a one long video maybe I will break it up into different parts let's see okay let's jump and start with the first speaker okay guys here we are welcome you again in my ultimate super trooper word destroyer bluetooth speaker introduction and showcase video so i will start with my smallest bluetooth speaker which is actually this model i think this is from anchor and probably it's the anchor sound core nano bluetooth speaker this is the smallest one actually it's it's really small i will just compare it to showcase its size to the JBL GO which is probably familiar to many of you so this is this size this small speaker and actually to be honest I don't think I ever done a video about this speaker somehow I <laughs> never had time to properly review it or even do a sound test video about it maybe I did I don't remember exactly but what i can tell you that uh, the quality the build quality of this speaker is really really good it's made full of metal one from one metal case and the back is uh, got a rubberized cover seems very durable Regarding the sound, of course, don't expect too much uh, from it. It's a pretty small speaker 
and to be honest I'm not sure what is the best use of this speaker because uh, simply just uh, its sound, sound quality is not a big upgrade compared to a normal notebook built-in speaker or even compared to the speaker of your phone so there are not many use cases when uh, such a small speaker comes handy I suggest to go with a little bit larger one like the JBL Go I showed before okay let's continue with the next speaker let's continue with the Sony this is the Sony SRS X11 this is also a pretty small speaker just again compared to the JBL Go like as you can see it's it's a bit smaller or okay different shape but let's say similar size or smaller one what I can tell you about it it's uh, I really like the design of this little cube it looks very cool I think there are drivers firing in different direction so probably you get a good sound from any uh, angle you hear the speaker but uh, sound wise it's not my favorite even in the small category I think it sound it's quite flat and thin not too much bass even compared to JBL Go it can come handy so it's definitely an improvement over for example a mobile uh, phone speaker but still not the best for music listening but yeah of course this is somehow normal you shouldn't expect too much from a, such a small speaker regarding the battery life I don't know maybe it's I think it was quite good okay let's go with the newer Sony speaker maybe this is currently smaller one in the new Sony Bluetooth speaker lineup this is the XB zero one yeah I, I really like that this comes in this funny colors all of them looks quite cool to be honest holding in hand a little bit uh, feel it cheap this plastic material so uh, comparing to uh, the go as usual it looks much more premium and sturdy but otherwise it's a cute nice little speaker um, and currently I can't tell you much about its sound I guess it's not super but I don't really <laughs> remember but yeah this is the smallest Sony but you can check the sound comparison videos on my channel okay let's continue with the JBL Go this is the first model the JBL Go 1 I think many of you know this speaker it was really popular when it was produced uh, you can buy it everywhere every supermarket shop so it's highly available or at least it's used to be because this is the first model uh, many people criticize this uh, speaker because it, they are saying it's quite pricey which is true at least uh, considering its size and performance so yeah it's said that for this price you can get a better speaker or at least with better sound uh, better characteristics which is I guess it's true I guess it's true but I still like this this little JBL Go because if you are looking something in this size then you cannot really find much better alternatives uh, this is the first edition I guess it's still not water protected let's check the second edition this is the Go 2 
as you can see there are some dents and scratches it's not in <laughs> the best shape and this is because i already did a drop test some years ago with the speaker if you haven't watched it then uh, check it uh yeah it it holds really well the tests as you can see there are just smaller dents and scratches on the house of the speaker but otherwise it's in perfectly perfectly good working condition so this is the second model not so boxy little bit more smooth edges a little bit better materials slightly improved sound i guess not so much differences in terms of sound but anyway it's still a small improvement i think the biggest improvement that time was that it's already water protected so as you can see the ports are sealed okay i cannot open it but uh, protected by this this small rubberized flap okay and this is the newest the third model it got a even more durable case i haven't did a drop test with it but who knows maybe i will but but you can tell immediately that it's hmm maybe a little bit larger but uh, but i think it's more durable a newer charging port it is also water protected without the flap and yeah again a slight improvement sound wise but not too much differences between the three generations so these were the small jbls let's continue the next is really really similar to the jb ago and this is come from sound stream i think this is the sound stream icon and yeah as you can see it it's uh, very similar to the second generation in every aspect sound wise look wise so it's almost the same this is the creative move 2c this is also in the same category same size a little bit i would say design wise it's a more interesting model than the uh, go to i'm comparing it to the go to because it was released more or less in the same time when JBL uh, did the go to and as you can see curved edges a uh, little bit more detailed buttons and the big selling point uh, design wise is this uh, external passive radiator at the back of the speaker in terms of sound it's quite similar to the go to maybe due to this passive radiator a little bit more bass but if i remember well there were not too much differences okay let's go further this is a speaker from anchor the the first speaker was also from this brand as you can see i think this is this is the second largest speaker of anchor or at least it uh, used to be because it's a quite old model also there is a newer one from this very similar to that maybe with water protection and a little bit more durable case but uh, uh, similar with a similar shape and size and this is the sound core mini i guess it's also had a decent sound but i don't remember exactly you can put an sd card here and maybe it also has radio or something like that i'm not sure but might be it might have okay i should have 
shown this speaker before the go because this is actually a smaller one in the JBL lineup. Probably it's the JBL Pop, JBL Pop model. I think currently this is the smallest JBL. It's a quite a new model, but still comes with a, an older type of USB charging port. It's also very durable. I think it's intended or at least promotes it as a Bluetooth speaker for children. Probably because its size and its funny colors and good looking design and it's also seems quite durable in terms of price i don't remember exactly but i think there is no huge difference between the two jbl models and yeah it's still uh, i think it's a big upgrade upgrade the jbl go 3 compared to the pop but to be honest i'm not sure if i ever did a video about this pop so maybe i still do it to do some comparison videos but yeah this is the smallest jbl Let's continue. This is a slightly larger model from Anchor. This is the Anchor A7908. Maybe it was named uh, as an Anchor Classic, if I remember well. It's not water protected. It's uh, made from hard plastic. It's not really an outdoor speaker, but it, it, it can be good choice to use it on a office desk if i remember well uh, its sound was decent not anything uh, outstanding and uh, and it lacked bass but which was the strength of this speaker is that i think it contains a huge battery and the battery life was superb and it was a really uh, great speaker to listening to podcasts or watching YouTube video videos where the bass level is not so important. So this was the Anchor Classic. The next model what we will take a look at is the JBL Clip 2. And it's more or less a JBL Go 1, Go 2 with a in a different shape and with this nice handy clip or carabiner on top of it. It's not much larger as a Go 2, but it it is water protected, which was an advantage at that time. So probably now it's the same category with the Go 2. And uh, Sound-wise, I guess it was a slightly improvement compared to the Go 1, but, uh, but uh, not far better. And as you can see, it already contains a built-in auxiliary cable, which was quite nice. Also like the fact that the carabiner can be replaced if you break it. So I think this was a very good portable speaker. If you want to go hiking or biking, this clip is really handy. But this is not the newest model because this is the first generation. No, sorry, this is the second generation. I don't have the first one. And probably this is the third generation yes this is the clip 3 and maybe already the clip 4 is released but i don't have it yet but as you can see this is the newer model not so many changes so same size i think almost the same sound quality little bit let's say sturdier design but the clip is already built in which makes not possible to replace it for a new one or a largest one. But uh, I think, uh, no, this is the same uh, USB port, the same older one. Yeah, so this is the Clip 3, Clip 2, quite similar. 
and this is speaker in the same category from Divum. Maybe this is the Divum Voom box track. When I got this speaker, it really surprised me because the, the build quality is superb. It got this kind of clip on top of it. Maybe it's not so handy because as you can see it's quite limited where you can clip it but uh, yeah I think it also has a good sound maybe better than the clip I don't remember exactly but in terms of build quality I definitely would choose the d -Boom. and staying at the same category this is the Bose Soundlink Micro. What I can tell you about this speaker that it's also really sturdy, full covered with uh, rubberized plastic and uh, it's not cheap. It was quite pricey, especially cons uh, comparing it to other models in this category like the Clip and uh, other same size models but in terms of sound quality it's out outstanding it, it really produces a, a good sound for the same price you can buy a speaker with better sound but in the same size probably not so I guess in this size it has a pretty good sound quality even you can find some bass in its sound let's continue with some Sony speakers. This is one of the most popular speaker from Sony. This was the direct contender of the JBL Go. So it's just as popular as the Go. It's a very durable small speaker. I liked it or I like its design. It fits into a uh, cup holders very well and it it's true that it produces much more bass than the JBL Go but I was not fond of its sound to be honest because it, it could distort a lot sometimes the bass was overpowered and other uh, part of the sound was, was, was not so good but this is not the newest model Actually, I'm not sure if even this one is the newest one. This is the XP12. As you can see, not much difference. You could even say that they are the same, but the buttons are, are different. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. I think sound-wise, it was a good improvement this XB12 model so it also has a, a, a good base for its size and no it does not distort so much than the XB10 so actually I, I I like this this XB12 model okay guys I think this video is already quite long so I will finish here I will upload the part two soon so stay tuned please if you like this video or this series then please press a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you were watching speaker fanatic and let's uh, yeah see you in the part two